Hi guys, this is Rob, and I wanted to talk to you about the game bird industry. <laughs> That's right. So what you may not have known about me and um, our family is a few years back, um, we used to raise game birds. And I have one interesting fact that I want to pass on to people that when they hear this, some people go, I knew that. And there's others that didn't. So actually, there's two things I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so anyway, so we used to raise pheasants, exotic pheasants. And my favorite, we raised chucker. And to me, chuckers are awesome. They're a colony bird. So they're kind of like watching lemons, <laughs> lemmings. When one does one, something, the others follow. So it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, pheasants, they're kind of a pain. Um, when you're raising pheasants, uh, you know, and we, we raised them for hunting reserves. So obviously, when they bought our birds, they wanted them to have really good looking feathers and all that kind of stuff. But male pheasants were really good for pecking at each other. And they're uh, kind of cannibalistic sometimes. So it was really hard to raise pheasants. But the chucker was just a kick in the butt. So, but the one thing I wanted to pass on, I'll try not to make this too long of a report, but people, uh, so every day uh, when spring came, we'd actually have, we actually had Easter baskets <laughs> and we'd go out and we have these special scoops we made and go out and collect eggs. And so uh, what we also had was commercial incubators. And so our incubators could hold 500 eggs. But we only got 30, maybe 35 eggs a day between the chucker and the uh, pheasants. So you go, well, how do you do that when you have only 35 eggs a day and you put them in a 500 egg incubator? And then the interesting thing is we have all of our birds hatch on the same day. So think about that for a minute. From the time that the egg is laid and starting to be uh, incubated either by the hen itself or an incubator it hatches in 27 days so how do you fill up a 500 uh, container incubator and have all the eggs hatch on the same day so this is the part that s some people know this answer but a lot of people do not just like a lot of people don't know where our steak comes from but <laughs> this is what we had to do. So get a kick out of this. We actually kept a wine cooler uh, or refrigerator in our house. And every time the kids or myself went out and got eggs, we'd bring the eggs in and put them in little holders and put them in the wine cooler um, at 55 degrees. And no higher, no lower. Always kept it at 55 degrees. And so every day we add 35, 40 eggs until we had close to 500 eggs. And so what happens is when you put them at the 55 degrees, it makes everything kind of hold in time, <laughs> like the twilight zone, which is really weird. A lot of people didn't know you could do this, but you take all your eggs put them in there and they all hold at the day that they were put in there. So then when we have enough eggs, we take all of those eggs out to the incubator, load them into the, uh, the big commercial incubator, put a date on them from 27 days from that point, and voila, on, on that exact day, I mean, we could say, okay, guys, we got to stay home today because we have a hatch happening. And so it was amazing. You got all these baby little chucker, uh, which look like little uh, troubles, <laughs> if you watch Star Trek, uh, all hatch at the same time. And it's amazing. So we got 500 little checkers running all over the place. So, and you can do the same thing with uh, pheasants. It doesn't matter what kind of bird. So that was the first game bird fact that I wanted to pass on to you. That That's how you would get all the eggs to hatch on the same day and it's all planned. It's kind of interesting. The next little fact I wanted to pass on to you, and some people know this, especially if you came from a farm, but did you know you can make a bird sleep, go to sleep? And I actually heard this <laughs> from uh, a long time ago, but if you take a bird, grab its 
head and fold it under its wing and kind of tuck it in there kind of like, and then the bird looks like a little football and you just hold them there for a second and then gradually just kind of release it and lay them down on the ground they are literally stay in that position and I don't know what causes it but it, it doesn't hurt them or anything but they go to sleep and so it was kind of fun we us and the kids we once in a while just to impress somebody we go out there and say hey you want to see us put some birds to sleep He's like, yeah, right. So he grabs some uh, pheasants. <laughs> we tuck their heads under their feathers, hold them still for a second, lay them on the ground, and see how long they'd stay there. Some would stay there for quite a while, and others you just have to give them a little tap, and their head pops out, and they go, hey, what's happening? <laughs> so, yes, you can actually put a bird to sleep. So that's all the facts I have for you for game birds and birds itself. And You can do that to a chicken, by the way. And I thought that would be interesting um, information to pass on to you. So today you learned something. How to incubate your eggs and have them hatch on the same day. And also how to put your darn birds to sleep. Too bad we couldn't do that to our kids. Anyway, I'm Rob Scribner. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye now.